So, the lateral motion of the bow. Yes. We don't hear about this a lot and we rarely see it up close so let's uh well let's, let's change that it. right now exactly here. exactly yeah, so if we were talking about uh, the string length the bow perceives the string lengths between the artificially created open knot which is my finger and the bridge when i am playing uh the octave of the open string say here the whole string is this length, mm -hmm. but it's only from this finger to the bridge, exactly half. So look at where my bow was here. Can you see that my bow in relation to the string? Mm -hmm. I'm going to play two beats of it. See where it was? Now watch, watch where my string is now, where my bow is. So it's closer to the bridge. Quite a bit to the bridge, because I am playing on a string that is half as long. That is one of the criteria of, of tone production, the contact point. And the contact point moves when the string is shorter. The other criteria is bow speed. Now let's just, here we are not changing the string length, all we are going to do is change bow speed. So let's say I'm going to put an F sharp on the D string and we are going to hold this note say six beats. Okay? Two, three, four, five, six. Now watch. See how far I moved away from the bridge? Mm -hmm. So the faster the bow moves, the closer you get to the fingerboard. When I'm pressing, now the, this time I'm not changing the pitch and I'm not going to change the bow speed, but I'm going to change the pressure. So I will play, that's four, it's less painful, four beats. So there are three so there are three criteria for good sound. Contact point, that is the point where the bow hair contacts the string, bow speed and bow pressure. Uh, when we are talking about Sul Ponticello, it's it should mean toward the bridge. And Sul Tasto should mean toward the fingerboard. It doesn't mean on the fingerboard, it doesn't mean on the bridge. Mm -hmm. uh, if you t t talk about physics, uh, both Sul Tasto and Sul Ponticello are bad songs. Because you are not playing at the, it's like when you play tennis and you suddenly, you are playing uh, off, the, uh, off the sweet spot at all times on your racket. Mm -hmm. It's not very good tennis, this is not very good sound. Right. But it's an, if, it's an effect. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. If I move the st sweet spot either toward the fingerboard or toward the bridge, I'm creating uh, a sul tasto or a sul ponticello to various degree. So now let's assume for these. Now I'm not changing anything but the bow position. So that was the same pressure, same bow speed, same pitch. And this is a sul tasto opposite of. So suddenly you got a much more veiled, uh, charactered sound uh, with some uh, softness to it. At its best, it sounds a little bit like an alto flute, I would mm -hmm. say. You know, it has these. Versus. 
You don't have the edge. Mm -hmm. The closer you get to the bridge, the more noise you get, the more edge you get. Mm -hmm. And that would be the, the Sur Ponticello. See where how close I am to the bridge. Mm -hmm. No, normally this would be it. No, that, you see, it's not exactly on the bridge, mm -hmm. but it's close, as close to the bridge as the sound allows me. If I go further, then you get nothing. Right. If you ask me to play. And you wanted to have Sul Ponticello. This is on the bridge. Right. But if I played that note Sul Tasto, this is the Sul Tasto. Look. Look where right. it is. Nowhere near. That. Nowhere near. More of than that, I think you don't even require the maximum amount of sul tasto or the maximum amount of sul ponticello. They just uh, a hint, you know. Very often I, 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 I see marking like a half section sul ponticello, the other section sul tasto. It's, just, you know, it's like the Polish cocktail, you know, the soda water and plain water, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen quite that one. Oh, they're, oh, they're yes. Equal, I, I will believe you. Equal uh, out. Oh, yes, it's, it's, it's lots of them. It's different than mute. It's probably more effective. What, for what you need. The sultasto. Yeah, then the mute. Right. But you can do. You can play sultasto with mute. That is very effective. Mm -hmm. So, do you do anything else different when you play with a mute? No. It's the same. Not at all. Yeah, it just the mute the does sound. it, you know. That's, play, you play, know. play us again, uh, unmuted, a little passage. Okay. okay, so here is... Okay, let me play normal, mm -hmm. sultasto, mm -hmm. mute, mm -hmm. mute sultasto. Good idea. Okay. Okay. different things. So I guess the last thing to cover would be pizzicato. Right. Well, okay, pizzicato is, uh, let's forget about special effects pizzicato for a moment. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, usually used for one of two things, either slow chords <laughs> two things on it, Two things are necessary. One of them is going across the strings at an angle. Why? Because if you you have the rough, the, you catch the string at the wrong angle. You want to you have the distance to travel. You see. Mm -hmm. You're in a way you're sort of stroking the string when stroking you Stroking rather instead of pulling it. Yeah. It's too direct. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is uh, uh, finger pressure on the fingerboard. If I'm not pressing, you are not going to have the ring. Mm -hmm. Now look. Magic, look. Right. It's like a dead note versus a yeah. All I'm doing is this. Mm -hmm. Uh, you don't even have to vibrate. Doesn't hurt, but... So that would be one when your arm is totally free and the hand position is from here to there. Mm 
-hmm. As you see, it doesn't take a hell of a long time. And it's... Mm -hmm. I never ever play pizzicato like this. It's a, to me, it's a very unnatural thing. Also, I'm deadly afraid of hitting the instrument with the heel, with the frog, right. the corda. Uh -huh. is, is here, I'm covering it up, so I'm okay. never, never in danger of hitting anything. So it's and, pretty quick to change. Like this, look, one, two. Mm -hmm. And then how quick can you go back? It takes a little bit, but this... Here the quality of sound suffers also. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That would be a more normal thing. Now, the other thing is, when you play in succession rather fast pizzicato... Just like the bow uh, has its sweet spot, so does the pizzicato finger. If I play... Sounds different. And so listen to that. Cellos very often use this. The sul ponticello kind of uh, pizzicato, it sounds better on a cello. Mm -hmm. It makes a much more of a difference. For us, it's very... There's a lot more pitch to it when you play there. Very close, the two heads very close together. Mm -hmm. Now, then we were talking about the Bartok pits, mm -hmm. which is, once again, here you have to change the hand position because there's no way you can pluck and hold the bow at the same time. It has to be this, and you take your string mm -hmm. with the middle, with the index finger and thumb, raise it and release it. You have to aim for it. Mm -hmm. And then another another thing, could you just play like high pits? High pits yeah, doesn't so really work. <laughs> it's a sound, it's a unique sound though. And there is just no sustain to it. Just, just play a, a scale up the instrument in pizzicato. Just so we can hear it. Totally, the, the, the changes in the tone as yeah. it goes up are in, yeah, it's, it's uh, incredible. It's not like the bow at all. No, it, not at all. It gets very, not very thin, all. and there's no sustain. No, it's, it's a zero sustain. Up, yeah, up the top. nothing, nothing really. Thank you so much, Andre, for your time and explaining and demonstrating all of these things. I'm sure a, a lot of people will be excited to see this, and will probably uh, end up doing some follow up one day when I think of all the things we forgot to talk about. So. Thank you. Thank you very much. I tremendously enjoyed the opportunity and cherish the opportunity that uh, we could talk about something that's very dear to me and very. I find it tremendously important for doing better what we, what we do. So thank you very much. Thank you.